friends, welcome to the In Your House Rumble. Yes, yes. Hello. Thank you so much for coming in and watching on YouTube. My name is Ben. This is my very first commentating on this, so I am trying something new here. So be gentle. I might be a little nervous. I might mumble. I might stutter. But we'll get through this together, I'm sure. So, I have some other videos that I have out there. Before, uh, actually, after this one, that I don't do commentating, but I'm going to try and do as much commentating as I can on the future episodes. So let's see who drew number one. It's John Arbuckle from Garfield. Garfield was a great cartoon. Great comic strip as well. Don't care for the newer Garfields out there these days. Just don't care for the animation, I guess you could say. I, I don't know. I just, I, I like the Garfields from when I was a kid. Garfield and Friends and all his specials, Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving. Great, great cartoons in the 80s that I grew up with watching. Today's is, I would say, is crap. I'm sorry to say, but, you know, there's enough about that one. Anyways, so, John drew number one. Who's going to be number two? Who's going to be his opponent? We're about to find out. Hope so far you've all enjoyed my rumbles, and now that I'm commentating, hopefully they will get better as time goes on and my commentating as well well number two is about to come out John's ready the arena gets all dark it is Arthur from the tick I didn't really watch the cartoon that much I watched the episode here or there didn't really get into it uh, the TV show the short-lived TV show I didn't really get into either but I know of the tick and I know of the characters, a lot of characters in these rumbles. I know of little bits or a lot about or nothing about. Uh, the ones that I don't know about, I just kind of hear from other people. And then I kind of look them up and I'm like, hey, you know what? I will put them in and we'll see how they do and, you know, see if I enjoy them. So hopefully you've enjoyed all the characters I've put towards you so far. Yes, you will see characters on and off a lot, and a lot of times you'll see them maybe once, maybe twice, then they're gone, because I like to try and find newer characters as much as I can. I try and do themed rumbles as much as I can, but then just random ones, because every now and then I run out of ideas of what kind of theme I want to do, or there's not enough characters. So back to the rumble. Number three, Snorky, member of the Banana Splits. Banana Splits was a 1969 show, kids show, with guys in these like Five Nights at Freddy's type thing, Chuck E. Cheese type thing, creatures that just entertained kids. They were creepy, but you know, they were fun to watch. They did make a horror movie um, more of a gory movie than a horror movie, but you know, that's how it is today with these things. Here comes Ted, Theodore Logan from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Now, I think this was a really good creation on the part of the person that did this. Uh, they got it down really good. So let's see how Ted does. Well, John, with a couple strikes on Snorky. And Snorky is down. Arthur's just kind of chilling. Oh, John with a running clothesline. Well, Snorky got up, and John's like, no, let's get you in the corner. And the clothesline's Ted from behind. Here comes Dave. You, now you're wondering, Dave? Yes, Dave the Minion. One of the many minions that they have out there. I'm sure all these minions have names. 
but there's only certain ones, you know, certain main minions that actually have the names. So there's way too many out there, probably. Anyway, Snarky is about to eliminate Ted. But John gets down by Dave. And Dave picks up John. And Dave's like, okay, John, I think it's time for you to go. And here comes Bender from Futurama. I don't know if any of you have watched the newer versions of Futurama. That's on Hulu right now. But um, I lost track of Futurama a long time ago. I'm way out of it. After it got canceled the first time, I watched a show here and there. I uh, watched a couple of their straight-to-DVD movies, got lost. So if I tried to watch the newer versions on Hulu, I'd probably be very lost. But who knows? I may give it a shot. Here comes Jerry. Jerry the Mouse from Tom and Jerry. Yeah, this is one of those classic cartoons growing up that you love to watch because while the things that happen between Tom and Jerry where what other cartoons can you really say can you can get a dynamite blow somebody up and still live I mean well besides Warner Brothers but Tom and Jerry I think you know if they had it today people would be oh Snarky's gone um, I think people would be very offended by the way Tom and Jerry used to be here comes Inspector Gadget Inspector Gadget was another great cartoon growing up. Ever wonder what Dr. Claw looked like? Everyone always did. They never revealed what Dr. Claw looked like. Which is a shame. I think they could have. Which we all know the symbol of his mad henchman where it was probably his face. But, you know, they just never made it. They just showed his claw. That's why he was called Dr. Claw. Now, here comes Dave, and Dave is going to attempt to eliminate Bender. Jerry and Ted are going at it. Arthur's just kind of chilling. Oh, John from behind. Those lines, Arthur. Arthur's going to chill like Gadget's doing right now. Here comes Tom. Now, will Tom come help Jerry? Or will their feud continue in this rumble as their feud has gone on for as long as I know. Well, we'll find out here shortly. And Ted with a suplex on Jerry. Dave knocks down Tom. Ted gets... Ooh, what a move by Ted on Dave there. Now, some of these rumbles you have seen in the past, I've been wondering, you know, you see people that will last a while in a rumble, and others that will last, right when they come in, they get eliminated. Has anyone ever thought of doing kind of stats, like in each rumble that has been happened so far? Like, oh, all right, this person has lasted two seconds. This person lasted you know, this long, this many people he eliminated. This is how many times he's been in the rumble. This is how less of times this person's been in the rumble. Uh, so many stats, I don't know if anyone's ever done that. And if anyone is willing to do that, that would be kind of interesting to see. I mean, I've attempted to do it. It's pretty tough to do. Ted with a powerbomb on Spectre Gadget. Arthur against the Minion. And Bender gets Arthur, Ted after Gadget, and John eliminates Jerry. He didn't need his cat to help him out there to get rid of that mouse problem. Ooh, Ted with an interesting maneuver there on knocking down Gadget. Now Tom with the minion. And ooh. The minion is not doing very well right now. Oh, is Arthur going to get rid of Bender? Yes, he did. Arthur got rid of Bender. Bender did not last very long. And let's see how well Arthur does against Gadget. Oh, I think Arthur could have eliminated Inspector Gadget if it wasn't for Ted. Oh, but Tom 
just stopped, has momentum in doing a move. Ooh, and there goes Arthur knocking down Tony. Now he goes right after John Corner. And Arthur once again goes right after Ted, but Ted counters. Ooh, can the minion get rid of Gadget? And the minion got rid of Inspector Gadget. And John knocks down the minion. And Ted is doing some quite interesting acrobatic moves in this rumble. Here comes Bingo at number 10. Bingo, one member of the Banana Splits show. The Banana Splits, a show from 1969, I believe. It was a band of just these different creatures that just did silly things and entertained kids. It was somewhat of a Five Nights at Freddy's, somewhat of a Chuck E. Cheese type theme thing. But they did, uh, a couple years ago, do a horror movie of the Banana Splits. I would say it was not much of a horror. It was more of a gory thing on making them robotic and killing. Here comes Murray from Big Mouth. Big Mouth. A very funny, funny character. Oh, did Murray just eliminate the minion? No. Anyways, Big Mouth. Very adult cartoon for what it is. I think it's a really good show on Netflix. I've enjoyed each season so far. Um, I wish they had other characters from that show on this game, but Murray so far has been the best one I've seen. Tom with a suplex on the Arthur. John against the Minion. Oh, here comes Charlie Brown at number 12. Oh, Charlie Brown got knocked down right away. Charlie Brown, yet another great comic and another great show growing up. I loved all the specials and the cartoons that they put on. I mean, classic. Um, I didn't care for the, the newer version of the Peanuts movie they made several years back. Um, the computer animation just wasn't for me. I like the old style drawings of how it originally was. Anyways, Charlie Brown against the Minion. It's just, I think it's easier to say the Minion instead of Dave. Because there's so many people in here right now that you kind of lose track. Ooh, John with a kick, and Bingo doesn't go down. Oh, Bingo grabs John. Oh, Charlie Brown's got Tom there. Oh, is Arthur in trouble? Is Arthur, no, Arthur survives against Bingo. And is Bingo in trouble now? No, Bingo is safe. Is John in trouble? Ooh, all these guys are being safe. They're almost getting eliminated, but they're not. Oh, Bingo in the corner. And Ted, can he lift him up? He does. Can he get him on his stomach? If he gets him on his stomach, he will eliminate him. What is Murray doing? Ooh, Shattered Dreams. Oh, poor Minion. He's going to have to ice that up when he goes in the back. Now, his, oh, Murray gets Tom on his stomach and he eliminates him. Just like that, like Tom was nothing. Now, can John eliminate Murray? No. Oh, the Minion sees Murray coming back in and does nothing. Arthur, let's see. Oh, Arthur eliminates Murray, just like he was nothing. And here comes Ted. Ted eliminates the Minion. Oh, Arthur eliminates Bingo. Man, they're just going out left and right. <laughs> and there goes Ted by Arthur. Garfield and John, oh, I'm sorry. Charlie Brown and John and Arthur are left in the, in the ring at the moment. Ooh, Charlie Brown with a knee chop to Arthur. Ooh, John tried some kind of move, but he just headbutted him and just could not get Charlie Brown knocked down. Neck breaker by John onto Arthur. Arthur's going to take a little break. Oh, here comes Flegel, another Banana Splits character. Now, out of all these Banana Splits characters, Bingo and Flingle were the best two. Oh, and Flingle gets rid of Charlie Brown just like that. Wow, ooh, what a kick to Arthur. Like I was saying, Flingle and Bingle, out of the four Banana Splits characters that I have, turned out to be the best. The other two, 
eh, not so well. But, you know, it is what it, what it is and what we can get out of it. Rigby from regular show is about to enter at number 14. Let's see how Rigby can do against John Arthur and Flegel. Well, John gets him up and Rigby's like, no way. And he gets him and he counters and he high knees him. Oh, Arthur with a couple kicks, a couple hits, Ooh, a couple of knees to the face and knocks down Rigby. Well, Flegel put Arthur in a bear hug. Will he submit? It won't matter if he submits because he can't get eliminated until he gets thrown over the top rope. Here comes Garfield. Now will Garfield and John attack each other? Or will they team up and, oh, they are going after each other. Oh, Garfield immediately goes right after John. Oh, Rigby's like, I don't think so. Let me get a piece of your Garfield. And Garfield blocks Rigby. And Legal and John are at it. And Arthur's taking a break. Garfield, I think, has Rigby's number, but time will tell. Let's see, who's next? At number 16, everyone's favorite cartoon character, probably, Bugs Bunny. And did Garfield get rid of John? No, John counters Garfield. Wow, that was amazing. Arthur, can he get rid of Garfield? No. Garfield counters Flegel entertaining the crowd but Rigby does not like it he tries to throw him over but he saves himself Arthur from behind oh ooh, Arthur missed the kick Flegel knocks Arthur down now Flegel with a suplex no Arthur a leg chop Randy felt face number 17 Australian puppet comedian very very funny comedian if you've never seen Randy Feltface I would recommend you guys looking on YouTube under Randy Feltface and watching his specials very hilarious person I have seen him live when he's toured over here and I recommend watching him live and also watching all his shows on YouTube Here comes Bill S. Preston Esquire from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And there goes Flegel by Arthur. Now, Ted was doing quite well, but Ted did get eliminated. So let's see what, how Bill can do. And he goes right after Randy. Oh. Now, it's Randy in the corner. Goes right after John. And now Rigby and Bugs are going. Now Randy and Bill. Randy and John. Randy and Bugs. Oh, well, Bugs has stopped. And Bugs throws Randy back into the corner. And Bugs is trying to eliminate Randy. Can he lift him up? Does he have the strength? No, Randy's like, not today, my friend, not today. Garfield gets a cheap shot into Bugs Bunny. Now Bill gets a cheap shot and goes, Randy. Randy was choking Bill. Knocks him down. Garfield knocks Randy down. Rigby knocks Garfield down. John. And Randy. And gets him down. Well, here comes Thomas. Now, I thought this was very creative. Whoever made Thomas, they used Thomas's face. And the colors of his engine, they used as his wardrobe onto a human body. I thought this was very creative. And I've actually really enjoyed seeing this character develop in the, de the other rumbles that I've had. Then Garfield knocks him down. Now, yes, you have seen a lot of these characters many, many times. There are some that you probably will see maybe once or twice and not see again for a while. And Arthur gets rid of Garfield. I'm sorry, not Arthur. Um, Bugs Bunny. Arthur was in the corner. Bugs Bunny and Bill are after each other now. But anyways, so I'll keep some characters here and there. And then other characters I will get rid of and then I'll bring back because, you know, it's like, okay, they've been gone long enough, but I try not to put the characters in each day. I try and give them a break here and there. But anyways, Arthur trying to get rid of John, but John says, no way, not today. 
And ooh, Randy with an impressive move on Thomas. Rigby did not like that. Rigby's like, let me show you how to do this. And he gets Rigby down by John. Thomas headlock on John. Drooper, number 20. Another banana splits character. Let's see how he does. So far, his two friends have not done very well at all in this rumble. They did not last very long at all. And Rigby could get eliminated here, but I don't think so. I don't think Bill has the strength to do it. And oh, maybe. Can he push him out? Can he push? No, he cannot. And Randy is in the corner, chilling. Bugs is in the corner, chilling. Rigby after Arthur. No, nope, Bill after Arthur. No, John after Arthur. Rigby and Bill. And now Drooper is just getting up after being in a stunt state and misses for what, who knows what he was trying to do. And he gets suplexed by John. Now Randy gets drop kicked by John. Now Drooper puts John in a torture rack type move. No. And he puts him down onto the mat. Thomas, Russian leg sweep onto Rigby. Oh, Randy is gone by Arthur. Oh, I'm sorry. Once again, I messed that one up. <laughs> sorry. Bugs. Um, as you can see, Bugs and Arthur look so much alike. It is like, it's the color, I think. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have them in the same rumbles anymore. Um, even though all my rumbles are, the characters are random. I'll just be like, okay, I haven't seen this character in a while. Let me just put them in. But by their numbers, it's just randomized by the PlayStation itself. Anyways, let's get back to the action. Thomas threw a knee to the gut to Bill. And Arthur with Drooper. And Drooper's down, stunned state. And is John done? No, John is not done. Oh, he is not happy. He is going right after Arthur. He was not happy that Arthur tried to eliminate him. Number 21, Megamind. Megamind, another great movie. Will Ferrell did a very, very good job at portraying the voice of Megamind. I wish there was other characters from the Megamind movies on here to put in here, but it was just Megamind. There was a lot of Megaminds out there. Um, a lot of them just did not look right so far. I think this is the best looking one. Okay, can Arthur get rid of Bugs? No, Bugs and Arthur. Now, that would be funny if they can get rid of each other. But, you know, we don't have to make a mistake anymore. Bugs and Arthur. But, or is it Arthur and Bugs? But Arthur just got rid of Rigby. And Bugs is in the corner chilling. Thomas is stunned. Megamind is getting slammed by our no he reverses it drooper grabs megamind ddt's bill and john are at it well nope bugs bunny goes right after john and bugs bunny eliminates john just like he was nothing drooper picks up thomas now can drooper eliminate thomas no thomas is like i don't think so and Bugs against Bill. Ooh, what a close line by Thomas to Drooper. Now, ooh, Bugs and Thomas. Thomas in the corner. Bugs with the close line in the corner. Ooh. Bugs sees Bill, puts Bill in the corner. And Bugs lift him up. He does. But the next task is can he put him on his stomach and eliminate him? If he does not put him on his stomach, he will not get, no, he does not get eliminated. Here comes Bugs Bunny's friend, Porky Pig. Let's see how well he'll do. Let's see if Porky and Bugs will get at it. Or will they team up? We don't know. We will find out. Drooper is still in it. And he goes, Wahoo. Arm drags Ted up. Oh, Porky goes right after Drooper. Back scratch. Oh, and oh, Trooper counters Porky's move. Mega Mind. Ooh, getting knocked down by Ted. Bulldog by Bugs Bunny onto Bill. 
Curious George. See how curious he is on lasting in this rumble. Or if he's going to be curious and not last. Because you know that little monkey always gets in trouble. Always enjoyed the books when growing up as a little kid. Oh, George has Megamind. Oh, him and Arthur are going to double team on Megamind. Bill getting up after taking a little rest. Thomas, elbow. Must have hit his funny bone or something because he's favoring that arm. Oh, Arthur. Oh, is, he, is Arthur going to break George's arm? Is he like, I don't think so, George. Ooh, knee right to the back. Thomas, Drooper. And if I'm saying any of these names wrong, I'm sorry if I'm butchering them. You can let me know in the comments. But Thomas, can he get rid of... Oh, Porky Pig got eliminated. I didn't see that happen. Huh. Anyways. And... Ooh, can Thomas get rid of Arthur? No, Arthur survives. So we got... Arthur, Thomas, Bill, Drooper, Bugs, George, and Megamind. Ooh, Arthur with a dropkick to Bugs. Well, Arthur against Ted. Ooh, no, Drooper's like, I don't think so. Ooh, is this it for George? No. George is like, I don't think so, Bugs. Well, but Bugs is like, I'm not done with you, Doc. Take that. And take that hit. And... Ooh, nope, he reverses it and decides not to throw him out. But he decides to throw Thomas out. Is this it for Thomas? No. Oh, Drooper got eliminated. I was so focused on the Thomas and Bugs feud there, I didn't see who eliminated Drooper. See, here comes Pac. Now, this is my favorite version of Pac-Man. This is like the old Pac-Man. He's like been retired for years. You know, can't get a gig. Gained all the weight. Just can't, you know, seem to get his life back on track. So he decided to try and do the wrestling thing. Love the trunks. I just love, I, I love the body on this Pac-Man. Maybe if he ever wins one of these rumbles and goes to the championship, maybe he will slim down. Who knows? Oh, oh Pac just got rid of Arthur. Oh my goodness, number 25, Scar. We haven't seen Scar since the championship rumble of season one. And can he punch his ticket into a championship rumble to retain his glorified victory from season one? We'll find out here in just a few minutes. Scar is down by Thomas. Thomas is like, I don't think so, Scar. Now, Thomas and Bugs, that little feud's been happening here and there. And Bill's like, oh, well, let me let them feud. Oh, no, never mind. Let me see. Goodbye, Thomas. Oh, he couldn't get rid of him. Uppercut by Bill onto Thomas. Ooh, leg drop by Bugs onto Scar. Now Scar is down. Now, ooh, Pac-Man tried to move, but George stops him. Will Scar be able to win this Rumble and go on to the championship? We don't know. You just never know. You can never predict who's going to win. Every time I've watched these Rumbles that I've recorded, I'm like thinking, oh, this person so is going to win. No, that person's not going to win. It's the person that I never think is going to win, usually wins, or it's always an upset, in my opinion. Well, Pac is chilling. Thomas is chilling. The Tick just came in. Tick, butt shot right into Bill's stomach. Well, ooh, Bugs is doing some crowd work. Some crowd taunting, that is. And now he's like, what? What's what? I don't get it. What's happening? Oh, he just clotheslines Bill. Ooh, Pac just gets the tick. Bugs Bunny with Bill. No, Bill counters with the DDT. Thomas counters Pac. Old man pack, I would say. Oh, oh no, Bill decided to Paracarana Scar instead of trying to eliminate him. That's interesting. What's Megamind doing? Is he going to eliminate him? Is he going... Wow. 
Wow, what a move by Megamind. Now, he should have tried to eliminate George instead of doing that, but I'm very impressed. Ooh, Scar with a short clothesline to the tick. Scar against Bugs. Bugs needed a gun. Megamind is just going all over the place. Ooh, is this it for Scar? And... Oh, Bugs stops the tick. Oh, there goes George. He's no longer going to be curious on if he's going to win this or not. Because Megamind decided to get rid of him. Thomas is still in. I'm kind of impressed. Ooh, can Bugs get rid of... Yes, he did get rid of Bill. Bill is gone. Now Thomas and Pack are at it. Old man Pack. Lazy Pack. That's what you get for, you know, not... Ooh. Bugs is gone by the tick. Maybe Pac needs to have another video game come out and, you know, get back into shape and, you know, make that money. Who knows? In the video game world. Ooh, the tick misses with the drop kick to Scar. Pac picks up Thomas. And uh, for some reason, he's like, what? No. Oh, irate by Thomas to Pac. Atomic drops. Converted atomic drop. Here comes Ronald McDonald, the man that won the very first rumble that I ever recorded. Let's see how he does. And he was also in the championship with Scar in season one, which Ronald did not do very well in the championship. He did much better in his very first rumble that he was in. After that, he just did not portrayed very good rumbles but you know that could change you could win this one the tick with a DDT Pack decides to rest Scar is resting Stuart another minion decided to come out oh what is Megamind thinking what is ooh what a drop kick by Mega oh the minion miss oh Ronald is out by Scar Scar is like, I'm not going to let you do win this rumble. He just elim Scar just eliminated two people all within two seconds there. Oop, we'll pack it rid of Scar. That'll be an upset there, I would think. Oh no, but Scar's like, I don't think so, Pack. You lazy bum. Take a seat. Here comes Drew at number 29. I'm Will he come help his minion friend? Or will he go against his minion friend? We don't know. And Gru and like doesn't know what to do. He goes right after Thomas. Ooh, back right, right back to Thomas. Now Thomas GDP's pack man. Oh, let's see the number thirty is. Oh, is pack done? He's in the corner. He's number 30 is Stinkor from He-Man. Oh, Pac is like, no, you can't lift me. And Thomas a couple shots to the face. The tick goes right after Stinkor. Gets him down. Scar is at a stunned state right now. The tick. And Stinkor. Stinkor reverses it. Ooh, tries to clothesline the tick, but the tick says, no, I don't think so. Ooh, Herakurana on Stinkor. Now the tick goes right after Pack. Tries to eliminate Pack. Nope. Oh. For some reason, the tick and Stinkor do not like each other today. I don't think they ever would, but, I mean, he's going pretty much after Stinkor. Let's see the minion... Apparently does not like the tick either. Now, will the minion get rid of the tick? He does. Oh, the minion goes right after Drew. Stuart is, the minion is doing quite well for himself. Maybe he will win this thing. Who knows? Maybe he'll, he'll go down to him and Drew for the final two. Oh, and oh, Thomas misses the clothesline. He could have gotten rid of Pac. Let's see if he can get rid of Pac this way. Oh, look. Scar decides to help out. See if they can get rid of this lazy bum. Nope. 
Oh, Pack is holding on for dear life. He doesn't want to go yet. He's not ready to go back to the couch. No, he survives. Oh, and Scar with a kick. Now, let's see. Ooh, Scar. Ooh, Stinkor from behind to Thomas. And puts Thomas down. Thomas goes into the corner. Well, Stinkor and Scar. Nope, Rue and Stinkor. Now Pack and Stinkor. Now Scar and Stinkor. Pack and Gru. The Minion and Thomas. So much is going on here. Let's see. Gru and Stinkor. Pack is just chilling. Thomas picks up the Minion. The Minion. The little guy is fighting for all it's worth against Thomas. And once again, Scar's chilling in the corner. Well, he sees Gru. Can he eliminate Gru? Will he eliminate Gru? And there goes Thomas by Stinkor. And Scar eliminates Gru. Now, can Scar get rid of the minion? And let's see. Can he turn him over? He does. We're down to our final three. Pack, Scar, and Stinkor. Will Scar win this Rumble and go Season 2 Championship? That's probably what he is thinking that he wants to do. But I think Stinkor and Pac have other plans because they would like to go into the finals and win the Rumble Championship for Season 2. But Scar is doing pretty well for himself. Ooh, a spear right on a Pac. Picks up Pack. All he's got to do is, what is he? He misses. Now he's hitting the air for some reason. Now he misses. Oh, picks up Stinkor and face to the turnbuckle. Pack with a knee right to the face of Scar. Now Scar had a chance to get rid of Pack, man. And I don't know why. Now Scar is over there in the corner. What is he praying? Is he resting? What's he doing? Well, Stinkor is at a stunned state. Now, if Scar can get the upper hand on this pack, I think he can eliminate him. But at this rate, it looks like Pack is saying no way because we got two stunned people. Stinkor just got out of being stunned. Now, oh. Can Pat, does Pack have a special to do it? And he does. He eliminates the course between Pack and Scar for the final two. Can Pack do it? Will Pack do the unthinkable and win this Rumble? Go on to season two championship in a few weeks. We don't know. We're about to find out here. Well, is Scar about to get eliminated? And Scar does. Pack wins. Wow, that is a 